This is a short review of Logos Bible Software on the Likebook Mars 7.8 inch e-ink tablet. Here it is. Loads up pretty quick. Once it's been loaded up, it comes up real quick. Uh, up in the settings, I'll just show you some basics around. You can actually choose a number of things. You can change the text size. You can see it getting bigger there, really big, or you can go down so small that uh, you can't actually read it. <laughs> um, but that the mid range is perfect, and you can also change the the spacing between the lines. Scroll view is a great idea. You can turn it like a like an e-reader. You can change the pages just by hitting left or right. Um, so I've turned scroll view off, um, and you can see it does a bit of ghosting, and then when you tap that little button up at the top, it redraws the screen. I've found that the ghosting on this tablet is um, very easily um, overlooked, like you hardly see it. Um, and it refreshes quite cleanly and also um, subtly. You don't notice it refreshing a lot. Every time it's blinking like that, that's a refresh. Okay, so here we are looking at the Bible. Now we're going to see what we can do. You can scroll here and you can see there's no ghosting really behind that text, even though it's not in the mode that you should be able to scroll. You should be getting quite a bit of ghosting. All other ink readers would be, but the newer ones are um, yeah, better. Okay, here we're adding a couple um, resources together so that you can have a split page. And then... So what am I looking for? RSV, I think. I'm going to grab a Bible to pop on there, New Revised Standard Version. And then down there you can link them together by tapping on them so that they will scroll together if they are the kind of books that can pair up. Now I did find some trouble that Logos has with this. Um, those are two Bibles. They should scroll just fine. But when you go with the one, you can see the other one hasn't even changed to the book of the Bible that the other one's in yet. And it takes it quite a while to recognize, oh, there we go. There it jumped. So you kind of have to wonder why that took so long. Um, one thing I have noticed with the Logo software, I use Accordance a lot. And Accordance loads all of your books onto the device and then accesses them very quickly. Where Logos stores all of your books on the cloud and then tries to access them. And even with Wi-Fi, you can wait for five to 10 seconds for a resource to load up. And that may not sound like much, but when you're doing a search and you're flipping through, you know, 10 resources, that's more than a minute. Um, so of just downtime, just staring at the screen, waiting for it to load, where if the books were in memory already, they would just pop straight up like they do in accordance. Um, that's an easy fix. And they actually have the option to download each book. You can go into the info of the books and choose download book, but I'm not going to go into all 1300 of my resources and choose download book. I'd like one option that just does that. Okay. You can see just like, um, on your phone or on your screen, you can tap the references, the footnotes, and the Bible verses to see uh, them pop up on your screen, and you can read it there, or you can jump to the reference, which you see down the bottom corner there. It takes you across to your preferred Bible, and you can read it there in the reference pane, and uh, that's the one that I had split screened with another Bible, and so it just jumped over into that window. Now we're going to have a look at these different um, setups that you can do different pages you can set up yourself with um, as many, I don't know if there's a limit, but as many different uh, setups as you want of Bibles, resources, um, coupled together. Um, let's see, what am I doing here? Scrolling through. Have a look at the settings again. Oh, I'm showing you here. This is what it's like when you just do it as a page turn. So you've got your book open and you tap the side and it changes the page. Looks just like a Kindle. The only difficulty that it has with this, Logo struggles with this, is once you've put it in that mode, you can't switch back and forth between the separate pages that are numbered at the bottom. If you go like here, you can. You can scroll through and, and choose them. But if you're on the actual page and you start trying to re switch just by sliding left and right, it won't do it for you. Um, it just, because it's trying to change pages rather than change uh, setups. Here I am trying to show you, see, 
It just, that's the tablet trying to update. It just doesn't do it. Drag across, nothing happens. And it changed place in the same book. It's not changing pages like it should. So you really want to keep it into scroll mode. That's the only way to change the pages when you, so let's put it back into scroll mode. Again, like I said, there's no ghosting to speak of, um, so there's really no reason not to have it in scroll mode. It's a much more convenient way to read. And now look, it switches across resource to resource when you do that when it's not in scroll mode. So a couple things for Logos to fix there. One is this, and the other one is to let you download all your resources onto the device. One of the reasons they give on their website is because it uses so much space to store it all. My 1,300 resources are just a little over four gigs. My phone um, is half a terabyte, so that's nothing, the new uh, Note 9. And um, this tablet is expandable, so it has 32 gigs in it already, but it also, you can expand it, which I have, by putting a 64 gig um, micro SD chip in it. And so it's got plenty logos, so give me all of my resources on the device and it will go much faster. They say 10 times the speed on the computer, but it's certainly not 10 times the speed on this tablet. Um, it's probably 10 times slower than Accordance is on the tablet because it constantly have to find the resources. Now I'm going to show you a little thing here. I'm going to search for Worthy is the Lamb. I've got big fingers, so I have a struggle with this, seeing what I'm doing. Okay, we've got Worthy is the Lamb here. Now we're gonna do a search, see it in the bar there, search. You click on that search, brings up, goes through all your resources, um, of course on the cloud, so you get to count to 10, and then they come up, and you can, maybe you can read that on a computer screen, um, but you can see them quite well on the tablet, but uh, on the phone that I'm doing this recording, I can't read them, but so I chose one, and then thinks about it, finds it in the cloud, goes cloud surfing for a bit, and here it is. So you do a search and you get all of your resources and it automatically puts it on a, as a new setup on your pages here so that you can go back to your search. There's your search. You do another one. It'll create a new page and it just keeps adding those pages there so that you can flip through them later. Like I showed you going left or right and just look at all your resources. I know on a computer, you just have multiple windows open and it looks beautiful. Um, but on a tablet, you only have so much screen space. So this is a great way that Logos has uh, managed to have multiple screens open in a sense, but they're just hiding behind each other, waiting for you to scroll left and right to them. I really like reading um, books on the Logos app. Oh, here's your um, new dashboard that comes with Logos 8. And once you get Logos 8, it updates your phone and your tablet to have the dashboard as well. And you can set up all kinds of um, little 3 by 5 cards that let you do various things. This one is a, a study, a daily devotional. And... Uh, I'll just show you another how to create one up in the corner. There's a little plus sign and I'm going to show you that one first. Here's another devotional and because it's a Bible based one, it goes directly into your preferred Bible. Remember I opened the split screen on the Bibles there. So it opens it up in there. And if I put one of those Bibles away, it will top and tail it with your reading, start reading and close reading. Um, I think they were on the other one as well, but it's um, a bit disjointed because it's, less screen real estate. So once you finish that, it jumps back to your other resources. Okay, now, so you go to the plus and you can choose what kind of um, thing you'd like to add to your dashboard. And you can choose here a reading plan. So I've said, let's do seven days on forgiveness and then watch it pop up in the bottom right hand corner there, right in the spot that's, oh, there it is. And then you can start doing your reading. And you have to wait because it's going to go to the cloud and do some surfing. Here we go. And then here's your reading. So, yeah, Logos is it's beautiful. It's very uh, all-encompassing. There's just so much you could do. As I was saying before, I love reading on it. And um, I finished 
books that I've been skimming for for years, actually, um, on my Logo software. Once I got this tablet, I finished Cross Vision by Greg Boyd, and uh, I finished uh, Misreading Scripture Through Western Eyes. Um, and both of those books I've been churning through slowly whenever I would have a chance on my phone or on my uh, PC. But with it on a tablet, it just, the reading experience is so pleasurable that you just keep reading and reading. And uh, I found I've been getting much more of my resources long form into my head, which is fantastic. So I really like the tablet for that. Um, obviously, if you're going to do high powered Bible study, sermon prep, that kind of stuff, you're probably going to do it on your computer. And your tablet's just for those one-offs when somebody asks you a question or something. Uh, again, it would be very nice if it was not on the cloud for that because you can't use this software without it being um, in a Wi-Fi area. Because, well, obviously, it has to access the internet to have access to the cloud. Where it would be really nice if you could just pull your tablet out and use it without having to go to your phone and turn on your hotspot if you have that feature or saying, oh, you'll have to meet me somewhere with Wi-Fi so that I can show you what my Bible has to say about that topic. So yeah, they, that needs to be, needs to be fixed up. We need all our resources on the device. Thanks, Logos. Okay, here I'm just showing you the joy of reading. This is a book by John Pauline um, that uh, he's my favorite Revelation scholar. If you, uh, I think that's the one. No, no, that's not it. It's coming up soon. You can tell I'm voicing over. Uh-oh! That's the first time that's ever happened to me using Logos on this tablet. And I thought, isn't that just disappointing that it happened during the filming? But at the same time, I thought, yeah, it's a good thing to show you that uh, the tablet, even though it has eight cores and it runs pretty, like it's it's a great little beast, um, it's still a different device than Logos designed this software for. It's not color screen. It's not... Um, running like a phone or a, a standard tablet, it's e-ink, and so sometimes the something, hang, something hangs, but you can see it loaded back up quickly enough, as do most apps when they crash. So yeah, if you have any questions for me about this, um, I'm happy to answer them down in the comments section. Um, there's, yeah a worthy tablet worth having, I reckon. Um, I, I love it for reading books in general on Kindle, on my Kindle app on here. Um, I love using this tablet for my Bible software. Now, I definitely will start losing, using Logos more now that I've um, seen it work pretty well on here. Um, it's made me want to get into Logos 8 on my computer a lot more. I've um, just got a package, so I'm excited. So, thank you. Enjoy using the, the Bible software. Whatever you do, don't stop studying the Bible. The answers to life, the universe, and everything are in there.